Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Akmir with uh, another edition of Charting Multibaggers, where we're trying to find uh, characteristics of the best performing stocks and obviously look to see which uh, stocks in future uh, have those characteristics. Uh, the problem at the moment, I think, with the market is that there's so many situations. There's a bull market for small caps, and it's very difficult to narrow down uh, the best situations. But uh, I think I've come up with uh, something which might help. Uh, it, if we look at um, Eurasia Mining, just to get the uh, show on the road, uh, here you can see that at the beginning of February last year, we had a strong green candle and uh, then a gap higher. And it was a gap higher through the former resistance, uh, around 4.2 pence. So clear signal there, uh, buying uh, on the day uh, after the gap or the day of the gap up uh, around the five or five and a half pence area. Maybe if you're cautious, you wait for the next day. So that would give you an opening price uh, around five and a half pence. And uh, the theory is that when a stock or market gaps through resistance, it's a very strong situation. And you only see that in the strongest of situations. And that will be the theme of uh, this little video today. Uh, you can see that uh, after we had that gap higher at the end of February. Uh, the shares uh, did go higher. Obviously, they were suspended afterwards, but uh, uh, they've obviously never really looked back since. And uh, the theory, is, as well as the uh, the, moment, the momentum idea of uh, gaps higher through resistance, also that once you have a stock that does that, it never really gets rid of that uh, bullish sentiment towards it. You have people who are caught short, and they will keep driving the shares higher, trying to cover their positions. So uh, that's what happened at um, Eurasia Mining last year. Obviously, this year we've had uh, the successor to Eurasia, which uh, in, in we've gone from mining to crypto mining, I suppose. And uh, that's uh, the, the stock which has uh, basically followed um, uh, Eurasia uh, this year has been um, Argo Blockchain. And you can see there at the... Uh, End of December, we had almost an identical uh, setup there with uh, resistance. Uh, uh, the stock had resistance in this case at 12 and a half pence. Uh, and then we had a strong green candle at the end of that consolidation. And then the gap higher on um, 17th of December. So that gave you, uh, if you were awake uh, on the open, uh, that gave you a, uh, an entry around the, uh, what's that, with the opening there around 13 and a quarter pence. So let's say you, you pay 13 and a half or 14 pence. Uh, if you wanted to be cautious and see whether that gap would hold uh, for on a day uh, end of day basis, uh, you'd go long uh, the next day. So that would be uh, on the 18th, around the uh, what's it, anywhere around the 15 uh, and a half, uh, maybe up towards 16 pence area, but uh, no more than 16 pence uh, given the range that we had. And then obviously after that, waiting to see whether there is follow or there was follow through. And as you can see, we not only had uh, 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 the shares not going back uh, on the gap, but also then uh, gapping higher up towards 40 pence in the next stage and then up to a pound on the third gap. And uh, that's the other thing to note. Uh, when you get um, gaps, uh, gap sequences, they tend to come in threes, a bit like London buses, but in a nice way. Well, actually, isn't it? that is in a nice way. Um, and uh, so there we, there we have there for um, Argo blockchain, the classic setup of uh, initial gap uh, that's the entry point and then two further gaps uh, during the rally and um, that was probably a 10 out of 10 in terms of uh, the setup there especially given the way that uh, it was it's been relatively quick within a month and uh, also the magnitude of the move uh, another stock which uh, was uh, a, a hero from last year uh, greatland gold uh, here you can see that um, we had uh, the start of the rally, uh, I suppose, um, it was going back in uh, uh, the uh, January period with the shares uh, um, uh, gapping up um, or rallying during that period. But uh, in fact, the start of the rally really was uh, at the beginning of December 2019 with that gap higher there uh, through the uh, 1.6, 1.7 area. We f uh, filled the gap but never closed below it. And that's uh, one of the conditions that we don't close below the uh, uh, the charting gap. So uh, if you did buy towards 1.8, you had to weather down to 1.6. Uh, not the end of the world. Um, uh, clearly, if there had been an end of day close back below uh, that uh, 1.6 pence area, that would have uh, killed the signal, but you would not have lost too much money. And then you can see that obviously since then, 
the shares just kept on powering away. Uh, interestingly enough, compared to uh, Eurasia and Argo, there haven't actually been. It's been quite a smooth flow for for uh, Greatland Gold. Uh, we just had that initial uh, highlight uh, gap there, and after that, we've just kept on going, which is obviously very pleasant. Uh, on to a slightly different sector and uh, illustrating the point uh, uh, in in a different um, kind of stock. Uh, here we've got a Vactor, which um, started its uh, journey uh, around uh, April last year. In fact, we had uh, we had we actually did have a failure in this one, in the sense that we had a gap higher in uh, January. Uh, there was follow through from twenty pence to thirty pence, but then we came back. But at least you did have a decent run there. Uh, but the real, the main one. Uh, was the one in April uh, with an entry point, notional entry point there near 40 pence, 41 pence. And obviously the rest is history in terms of how the shares progressed. But then there was, uh, or there were two gaps um, after the initial gap. So it was a classic three gap sequence. Uh, one uh, at the end of April through 60 pence and then the next one uh, through uh, £1.15 uh, in May. So three gap uh, sequence there. Uh, and after that, you can sort of take your uh, pick in terms of where you would want to get out. Probably the best thing is waiting for an end of day close back below a gap, uh, which would then be the sort of the stop loss and the uh, take profit level, uh, which would have got you out, I suppose, around the uh, what's that, the one uh, uh, 120 area, something like that, uh, for a Vactor, and um, a very decent situation then. Uh, just going to look at one more historical example. I had quite a few uh, here, but I think the best one, the juiciest one, was probably. Uh, reach, uh, which uh, especially as we did actually cover the stock and the bulletin board heroes at the time. Uh, first uh, gap here was uh, in September through the uh, uh, what's that, the hundred day moving average, and through the low 50s, say 52, 53, something like that. And um, we never closed back below that gap. Then there was a second gap there uh, at the end of September uh, through 70 pence, but you had the 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 entry point around 55, and uh, then the third gap there. Uh, at the beginning of uh, November, uh, and we've basically kept going. In fact, we've had a fourth gap now, uh, higher uh, for January. So that's probably the that's in four gaps, uh, four uh, gaps on uh, one single situation. That's probably the the longest run of uh, gaps that I've seen on a multi bagging situation. So the gaps, I think, do the trick in terms of uh, this being the starting gun on a rally. And then giving you a signal to keep going with a stock and not take profits too early. So, uh, uh, pretty impressive stuff. And as I said, that only happens in like one in a hundred situations. So, you're really filtering uh, out uh, the, well, we're really sorting out the wheat from the chaff in that situation. Uh, I want to go on to some of the recent ones now. Um, this is sort of semi, semi looking back and semi looking forward. Itaconics, uh, we had a gap higher here. Uh, in um, at the end of last month uh, through resistance uh, so that was through around the uh, 2.4 pence level and uh, very strong uh, price action since then uh, gaps up um, but I suppose you had an exit there with the, uh, after the second gap there if you were strict uh, into around uh, the four and a quarter level although it has to be said the shares have kept going but uh, that would have been the exit there so getting in at 2.4 getting out around uh, four four and a uh, four point four and a quarter pence uh, just a few weeks later. Uh, another situation which has been uh, a, a nice in the sense it hasn't been too volatile has been a similar. Here we had a, a gap through uh, post November resistance through the twenty five pence area, and uh, we're already up at uh, thirty six pence now. It's a relatively smooth uh, starting gun uh, gap there for the shares. Let's see how far and how fast uh, they progress. Stock which. Uh, gapped up and has just sort of started, let's say, is um, Castillo Copper. We had the gap, uh, I think, at the end of last week, at the beginning of uh, uh, the, the the end of last week or the, the, the week before, uh, through the three and a half pence zone. Uh, here we're, uh, hold, we're sort of consolidating. Hopefully we'll stay above the uh, floor of the gap there, around 3.37 pence. And while we're above that, looking for uh, a charting target towards six or seven pence. So let's see if that... Uh, particular situation uh, uh, gets going. In fact, with this one, we, we already had gaps higher th um, from uh, much lower. So we had a gap through the uh, um, early December resistance around two and a quarter. Uh, and then um, uh, the, obviously the big gap that we had 
uh, for January, but above three and a half uh, pence or so. Uh, hopefully, Castillo will keep going and hopefully, multi bag. Uh, situation where there was another great gap and uh, great fundamentals as well is uh, Arc Minerals. Uh, here we've got a situation where we have the classic move there. Um, I suppose uh, that's that just illustrates uh, perfectly how on the um, 13th of January uh, we had the gap through resistance. Uh, so that uh, same setup as uh, uh, Eurasia, and Greatland and um, Argo blockchain and uh, quite smooth there. So if you bought either on the day or the day after, let's say at five pence, you'd be in there now at five pence and uh, looking for hopefully more gaps and more upside to come. I think I've been going for a 10 pence target there and hopefully with the gaps uh, coming through and follow through for the shares, uh, we'll see that relatively soon. Uh, stock which uh, uh, haven't, I hadn't looked at uh, before uh, but seems to be uh, in the same kind of mould is uh, Griffin Mining. In fact, this is a bit like the Castillo situation. The, the, the shares actually gapped into resistance, uh, which is an early bird signal. Uh, that gave us an entry point, I suppose, around the 90 pence area. Um, otherwise, it's £1.10 or the £1.10 zone with a gap through the resistance area. And we'll see how far uh, the shares uh, fly after the latest price action. Looks very healthy indeed. Uh, in terms of the uh, resistance line projections here, we're probably hopefully looking for a target towards uh, the 190 to £2 area um, if we continue with the follow through and don't break back below. Uh, the 104, 105 area, which has been recent support for the shares. Uh, just a, a, f a few to go now. Uh, the, the best looking uh, current break uh, gap hires, uh, gaps higher, brother. Uh, here we've got uh, touch start, gap through resistance. Uh, the floor of the gap around uh, 55 pence. So while we're above that versus 65 pence at the moment, uh, looking for decent uh, follow through. Uh, just how far the shares could go is hopefully up towards the 120 to 150 area, but uh, uh, that's only valid while we hold above the uh, 55 pence zone. But uh, certainly a decent setup there. And uh, just from Friday, uh, the gaps are on the daily charts uh, for uh, Petroneft. Uh, here, um, a gap through the 0.7 pence zone. Um, above that, looking for 1.2 pence, which is... Uh, uh, post uh, 2020 resistance and uh, fin finishing off with a stock which I did cover during uh, the week uh, metals exploration uh, another uh, nice looking gap there through two pence and uh, holding above the initial January resistance at uh, 2.1 pence uh, hopefully this one going towards uh, the top of a rising trend channel from uh, November uh, heading towards four pence but uh, the setup there uh, the classic gap through resistance setup there and so not too many stocks in the near term, maybe uh, four or five, uh, which have which I've seen, uh, which have uh, that set up. And uh, presumably uh, those who are keen traders could get involved in um, a decent uh, proportion of them or even all of them, I suppose. So uh, that's it for me today. Uh, another charting multi-bagger segment soon. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.